Pastor J.H. Brown, Fontaine First Baptist Church. We're located at 5400 Langley Road. Our worship service starts at 11 o'clock each Sunday. We invite you and yours to come wish with us. We are a church that has an inspirational message for you and your family. We are family church, and we have a message that can tell everybody about anybody who can save everybody. His name is Jesus Christ. Come wish with us. We'll be glad to have you and yours. God bless you, and God keep you as our prayer. on yesterday and did some hospital visitation. Yes, God. And I uh, got a birthday coming up, I think, Tuesday. I'll be 81. Amen. Well, praise God for that. I've learned not to try to do it all. Amen. Amen. Nope. And I'm glad about three weeks ago I scheduled Reverend William to preach today. And that before I knew I would have a funeral on yesterday. So, yeah. God, time is just right. Thank you, thank you. Thank I you. would now that you receive him as he comes. Yes, yes, yes. Reverend Williams, say amen Praise to him as he comes. Praise God. Thank you. Come on, put those hands together for Jesus this morning. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. Let's give God praise. The Bible declares that when we come to the house of God, we should give God a praise. So won't you stand on your feet and give God glory in this house? Come on, give God praise in this house. The Spirit of the Lord is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Come on, lift your hands in His presence and give Him glory in this house. Come on, lift your hands and give Him praise in this house. There are burdens in this house. Lift your hands and give God praise. Hallelujah. Keep those hands lifted in His presence. Praise Him. Keep those hands lifted in His presence. Won't y'all sing this with me? Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's worship him now. Hallelujah. He's here. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. Hallelujah. There's somebody in here burden this morning. We sing hallelujah because it's the highest praise. God, we reverence you in this place we give you glory God we give you praise hallelujah if you're burdened this morning God says say hallelujah to me before the spoken word he said just before you hear this word just give him praise right now because burdens are lifted Marriages yeah. are healed. Bodies Hallelujah. are healed in the presence of the Almighty King. Hallelujah. And we say hallelujah. hallelujah. Lord, we love you. Lord, Lord we, we love, you. love you. Thank you. Thank you. Lord, we Thank love you. you. We praise you this Lord, Lord, we love you. Yeah, Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Lord, we love, we love you. you. We love you. Lord, we love you. Burdens are lifted in the presence of the Lord. Lord Hallelujah. We love Father in heaven, we, we bless Lord, your name this morning. Praise you. Ah, hallelujah. Lord, God, we, we give you reverence this morning. You. God. Lord, we pray. We esteem you, God. Lord, we pray. Ah. God, we lift our hands in Lord, your presence because you've been too good to us. Lord, we pray. God, release your anointing in this place. Yeah. Ah. Lord, we pray. You. Release your anointing in this Lord, place. Lord, we pray. Because where their anointing is, God. Yokes are broken, God. God, we thank you. We reverence you. 
God, thank you for this opportunity to come to your house and preach to your people. We reverence you. We praise you. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, thy strength and thy redeemer. And the people of God said amen. amen. And amen. amen. If you would go with me in your Bibles to Matthew. Amen. Matthew, I want to give God praise and honor for our great pastor, our great, the great man of God of this house. Won't you help me give him, celebrate him this morning, amen. Reverend J.H. Brown. Amen. 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 And amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you. Matthew 8, Thank you, God. verses 25. And we're going to skip over, we're going to go back to 2 King 4, 1 through 7. We're going to read this passage and then we're going to flip back to 2 King 4, 1 through 7. And the word of the Lord reads... I'm reading from the NIV. It's going to be a little bit different from yours if you read from the King James Version, but it's the same word. It reads, The disciples went and woke him, saying, Lord, save us. We're going to drown. Skip over to 2 King 4. 1 through 7. 2 King 4, 1 through 7. And he reads, The wife of a man from the company of the prophet cried unto Elisha, Your servant, my husband, is dead. And you know that he revered the Lord. But now his creditors are coming to take my two sons as his slaves. Elijah replied to her, how can I help you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? The woman replied, your servant has nothing there at all she said except a small jar of olive oil Elijah said go around and ask all your neighbors for empty jars don't ask for a few then go inside and shut the door behind you and your son Pour all into all the jars. And as each is filled, put it aside. She left him and shut the door behind her and her sons. They brought the jars to her and she kept pouring. When all the jars were full, she said to her son, Bring me another one. But he replied, there is not a jar left. Then the oil stopped flowing. Okay, verse 7, last, last scripture. She went and told the man of God, and he said, Go, sell the oil and pay your debts. I like this last part. It said, You and your sons can live off what's left. The word of God is blessed, and we are blessed if we receive and obey the word of God. I want to preach from the subject this morning or this afternoon, O ye of big faith. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, O ye of big faith. As I gave my, as I gave my, my, my title this morning, some of y'all finished my title before I did. If I can imagine a little, if I can read your mind, you probably finished my title like this. Oh, ye of little faith. 
Oh ye of little faith is a familiar passage of scripture. Jesus addressed the disciples about their faith in the middle of a storm. Uh, Jesus wants them to have big faith, but he brings out their lack of faith. Jesus is on the boat with them, which means they are surrounded by faith. But faith is not in them. There's your paradox. How can faith be in the boat with them and they not have faith themselves? Jesus addresses the disciples about their lack of faith because he already showed them what big faith is all about. With my spiritual imagination, I can see Jesus uh, looking at them with a side eye. How can you not have faith? Do you not know who your God is? Faith is in the boat with you. Do you not believe? The I am sent me. Do you not know whose you are? All while giving them the side eye. I am the beginning. Ha, my God. And I am the end. I have power to calm this storm. Can you not just believe that I will protect you? This morning. God gave me this word. For somebody that's on the brink of giving up. It might not be for everybody. You may already have big faith. So you just sit there and listen. This is for the one that has no faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is saying today, don't lose your faith because your faith is all you have. Hallelujah. Don't lose your faith. You may be asking, brother preacher, how do I get big faith? There is only one way to get big faith. There is only one prerequisite for big faith. The only prerequisite for big faith is a test. Somebody say a test. Look at somebody and tell them a test is the only prerequisite for big faith. The test passed is faith increased. I'm going to say that again. The test passed is faith increased. You might want to write that down. The test is only but for the glory of God. Watch this. Your past test is never about you. Your test is never about you. Your test is for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Go with me to 